So I got bone broth going in here. I'm gonna add more water and add the vegetables. Go ahead and add more water. This bone broth is made up of just bits and things that we've had in the freezer. Uh, the pig feet, this is pork broth. I see a lot of people doing, making their beef and chicken, but pork is the best, in my opinion, uh, stock, bone stock to make. It is really, really rich in flavor. We use it in our soup beans. We use it with anything that we make, any kind of pork with. Um, any kind of beans it really great it gives it a great flavor so I like I said I went through my freezer because we are fixing to get our pigs and our cow in the freezer I need to make as much room as possible so I took I think eight packages of backbones uh, pig feet and neck bones Popped them in here overnight, set them on the roast, took all the meat off, then let them sit overnight again, or let them cook a little bit more, and got the rest of the meat off. So that will go to the dogs. That is not going to waste. Nothing goes to waste. Going to add. A little bit more water. I have in my freezer just bits and scraps of different vegetables that I pop into a freezer bag, stick them back in the freezer just for the broth. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. looks like carrot peels, celery, and mushrooms. That's probably plenty of water. I'm filling this 22 quart right up. This is going to simmer all day. And then After that, I plan on canning this so it's shelf stable broth. So we got our vegetables in there. Going to put this back in the freezer because I have more. I'll just use this over again. Mind you, a lot of our scraps do go to the pigs, which is in return meat or stock or anything else. But this, I'm going to let it slow simmer like all day. And leave that on there just like that. All right, here is our pork broth. Won't that look yummy? Or pork. 
pork bone broth and I'm just going to can it in my pressure canner on 10 pounds for 25 minutes. Leave a one inch head space. I tend to leave a little bit more. It's fine. But I've already got these done. Beautiful. And Chicken broth a cooking. Don't mind my dirty sink. Give me a hot jar. My pressure canner holds about seven jars. And hopefully this pot is about seven jars worth of broth. Because I hate to run my canner half full. What I did with my broth is after it was done, I stuck it in the refrigerator for like a day and a half. I let all the all the fat to the top so I was able to get that off very easily that way my broth stays nice and good when it's time to can it all right y'all just going to continue the process and be able to make some yummy recipes with this broth or just have it in case somebody gets sick. All right, three more to go. It's all full got this little bit left but I do have the roaster oven is on with a thing full of chicken broth so I think I'll save this process this when I do the chicken broth so I'm gonna go ahead and process this but it's gonna make 14 quarts plus maybe two more but for now for today, for Tim Quartz. So the chicken broth and the pork broth ended up making 14 quarts a piece, which is very handy. That's chicken broth, pork broth. So we are stocked for the winter. I thank you all for watching. I hope you all come back. Till then, can something.